it's really a, an immense honor and recognition because the Ramnath Goenka Awards have long recognized writers and journalists whose um, who's really rigorous and in-depth writing in, in newspapers uh, has really inspired me for a long time. Um, the previous Ramnath Goenka Awardees have been uh, writers and journalists who I've looked up to. And so it's really humbling to be included in this really elite group. And um, as an awardee for the nonfiction book this year, I think I should also say it's it's especially humbling because in India, nonfiction in English, at least, has seen, um, uh, I wouldn't say a revival of sorts, but it, it has really taken off in the last couple of years. Uh, you are now seeing um, nonfiction writing uh, in a depth with depth and diversity in a manner that you know hasn't happened um, in in the recent past and so uh, to have been selected uh, for midnight machines to have been selected amongst uh, the many uh, you know excellent um, uh, and well written books uh, that have come out um, in in this year um, it really is um, you know it, it really is quite humbling um, and I'm uh, grateful to the jury members um, and I should say also grateful to my publisher Penguin uh, for having um, uh, entrusted me with uh, you know writing a book on a subject that is somewhat off the beaten path in that it covers the subject um, that is perhaps not at the forefront of daily debate, uh, but takes the long view with regards to the influence of politics on uh, India's technological advancement. You know, you, you see uh, debates about technology, um, you read about debates um, on technology um, on a daily basis in a newspaper, you see it uh, in, our, in our media. Um, you know, every day in India, for example, we have some report or the other about something like Aadhaar, or you have reports all around the world about um, data breaches, about um, the use of data for surveillance. Uh, you have, you know, some news about social media and how it's, you know, having a pernicious effect on society and stuff. So we are confronted in a, on, a, on a daily basis uh, uh, about technology in its many forms. You have, you have reports about nuclear energy. Uh, and I thought it would be an interesting project to, to look at how politics in India has influenced technology because politics is in, in India has pretty much influenced all aspects of our uh, daily life, of our social activity. And I thought, you know, why is it the case that it hasn't influenced technology and it turns out it has. And that really is the inspiration behind uh, Midnight's Machines. I think the biggest challenge was the fact that, uh, to the best of my knowledge at least, there does not exist a book like Midnight's Machines, certainly not one that takes this kind of a long view, uh, sort of examining politics and its role in shaping technological advancement in India from this uh, this kind of an, an expansive lens. So um, I would say the biggest difficulty would, you know, starting out was the fact that there was no fixed template. Um, you know, identifying which individuals or which moments or which timelines to choose and to identify as having been pivotal to India embracing or um, rejecting certain technologies. Uh, I should say that there is a wealth of literature and some extraordinary books that have analyzed um, uh, you know, the history of technology in India, including the early years of uh, independent India. But very few or none like I, 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 to my recollection, at least the best of my knowledge that looks at the influence of politics per se. So having uh, not having that template and um, having to, you know, given that I'm looking at technology in its various manifestations, whether it is space, nuclear, whether it's agricultural, whether it's, you know, the so-called civilian technologies, everyday technologies, as the, the historian David Donald uh, calls it. Uh, that are used by Indians um, in in their in, the, in their daily life. Uh, the challenge really was to 
um, to identify and select people and moments and uh, timelines and technologies. I began by saying that uh, it really is an immense honor and recognition to to receive the Ramnath Goenka Award. Uh, and I, I, I say it also because uh, the Ramnath Goenka Awards ha have recognized over the years in journalism a, a, a higher calling in, in terms of um, rigorously reported uh, pieces or um, uh, or, or, or works of journalism that have really um, informed and educated the citizenry, and and uh, you know, and as I mentioned, it's something to be included in in that uh, amongst the, those groups of uh, writers and journalists who have tried to pursue this civic ideal. So it's it's really good to it has been really good to see the kind of uh, reception uh, that I have for Midnight's Machines because um, I also mentioned that this is a book that is slightly off the beaten path in that um, it, it does not really take on a um, you know a major political um, topic it does not handle the topics of sport or religion that really you know that really animates Indians uh, on a daily basis yeah, of course, technology is a key factor in our daily lives. But uh, to to have taken this book uh, on technology and how politics has influenced technology and sort of brought it to the readership was, uh, you know, a big labor of love for me. And uh, and I feel uh, happy when uh, many readers, um, you know, close to two years after the book has been released, um, often contact me through social media or email 